So your website's analysis is the most crucial part because you can understand the traffic behavior, make the strategies accordingly, and you can optimize your website in a way to generate more revenue. There are a lot of analytics plugins out there for the WordPress, but many of them comes with the cost. There are some free plugins out there which are free to use directly from the WordPress admin panel, but they do not provide rich analytics data. So we're gonna solve the problem here in this video. The plugin I'm talking about is free of cost, yet it provides very good and high rich data where you can check each and everything. Let's see what you can do. Myself Hardik Patel from ecomhardy.com. Let's get started. So if you are on the WordPress admin panel, simply go to the plugins and add new plugin here. And if you search for the plugin called analytics, A-N-A-L-Y-T-I-C-S, there will be a lot of options comes up. The first one is Sidekit by Google. Of course, it's a free plugin, but only issue with the Sidekit by Google is it doesn't provide good data. It only have only few things you can check directly from the console and it's kind of useless plugin. The popular plugin is Monster Insight, but it's not that good when you go with the free version. Free version is very restricted and doesn't provide enough analytics and they force you to pay for the premium plan. For the premium plan, whatever they provide, this plugin I'm talking about, independent analysis, will provide you most of that. This is the hero plugin for today's topic. Independent analytics, Google analytics alternative for WordPress. And the good thing about this plugin is it is also compatible with WooCommerce. This plugin is GDPR compliance and lightweight plugin. Disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by this plugin or their developers. I'm just making this video to help you guys and make the life easier for e-commerce business owners like us who are on tight budget. Once you install now and activate the plugin on the left hand side panel of WordPress, you can access this plugin from analytics. So here, simply go to analytics and the analytics panel will open up. So if you check the dashboard of this plugin itself, it looks very pleasant looking and very easy to understand. Now on the left hand side panel of this dashboard, you can access a lot of things. So first of all is block pages. If I click onto that, you can check the 30 days data or all the blog pages traffic you got on your website. Although I don't have any blogs on this website, so the data is missing, but you can also change the range from 30 days to today, seven days, this month, or even up to all times and apply the relevant dates. And you see all the data. Now, top landing pages is the key one because you will see what pages are being visited most. So in my case, there are a lot of 404 error pages visits. I can also check what else are visitors looking for so this is the product page one of the visitors have visited this product page in your case could be multiple product page you will see you will see how many visitors are visiting how many times they viewed and also the link you can click on that and directly access to the link as well if you go to the fastest growing pages that's amazing so you will know which pages you have to go with and optimize more so home page and my account page are the fastest growing pages because people are visiting to those pages most. Although this website is not search engine optimized because I do not allow any orders on this website. I just do dropshipping and use this website just for tutorials only. So you will not see many pages visits, but you will understand what I'm trying to say. Referrals, if you check search engine traffic, so you will understand from which search engines you are getting the traffic. You can see from the Google, I got three visitors in last 30 days. Also from the Bing, I got 14 visitors. So Bing is providing more visitors than Google itself. If you go to social media traffic, although I do not promote my website on social media, I do not get any social media traffic from here, but in your case could be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other social media as well. Fastest growing referrers will show you which referrers are referring your website now cities you can check the traffic by the cities and the good thing about this is you can check you can change it to all time and apply the relevant dates and you can see it shows in the map very easy to access you can check by just hovering over your mouse and check the data directly united states 70 visitors canada four visitors russia one visitor Poland 3 and so on. If you scroll down, you can also check the city-wise data and you can filter out the city-wise as well. Here you can see under devices, you can check the browser-wise data. 
as well as operating system wise data as well what operating system your visitors are using when they are visiting your website the cool thing about this thing is if you go on left hand side panel under the analytics plugin settings so if you go to settings you can check and change a lot of settings from here so there are basic settings provided you can enable or disable multiple things from here you can block certain ip addresses as well so if your website is under attack by particular ip addresses then you can block them directly from here you can also block by user so block specific user roles from being tracked in your case if you are an admin and if you don't want to track your own activity when you visit on your website you can simply select admin and block the role so that way it will block the user activity you can also allow or decide the user permissions and do a lot of other things just directly from here they also provide the short code for the view counter so you can apply the short code to the front end of your website and let your visitors know how many views of those particular pages are getting at the time your visitor are visiting for the free plugin itself it gives me unbeatable features if you like to upgrade to pro plan in future you can always check by clicking to that link and you will find there are two plans one is free and one is pro so the free plan you already checked in the video but pro plan is only 54 dollars per year which is not much if you are spending thousand dollars per month in google ads 54 dollars is nothing for a year and it will help you a lot to optimize your website for seo for google ads and more pro plugin it includes the free plan features as well as the campaign type real-time analytics woocommerce analytics although you see woocommerce pages in free plan but in the pro plan they have added more functions also you can do the form tracking email reports etc i would say if you are spending a lot of time back and forth from google analytics to your website i would say 54 dollars is nothing and it's worth spending money in pro plan but you can start with free plan first and see how you go if your website start generating more revenue you can always choose to pro plan i'm not affiliated to this website i'm not affiliated to this plugin i'm just recommending you from the kindness because this free plugin itself is very good compared to other competitors out there if you have any questions or suggestions please comment me in comment box below and thumbs up to this video if you like this video if you are here for the first time i make wordpress and shopify tutorial videos so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you will get notified in the future as well thanks for watching take care see you next time bye bye